speaking of gigs, and of course, yeah. that was a, a a gaffe in the moment. You know, we and we all as musicians got together and figured it out, which was nice. But sure. Moving to the topic of things don't always go right. You know, sometimes at gigs you have crazy moments, and you've had a ton of shows. So <laughs> what, if you can recall, what's the craziest, uh, for whatever reason, gig you've ever had? I, I tell you, this has happened more times than none, and I, I don't know if I shared this with you or not. People that can relate to this understand what I'm talking about, but it sounds so bizarre, and that... It's unbelievable. I have what I call, don't know if it's for real or not, a thing called, I call it an electromagnetic field around me. That sounds I think I know exactly what I, you're talking about. This is the about. craziest, like, I never thought of it, but over the years, over the last number of years, and I noticed that more since uh, in the 80s when, it's hard to believe, computers are only out since uh, 1982 or 83, the home computers. Right. Thing. But since that time, this is when I begin to notice peculiar things happen when I get around uh, uh, electronic equipment, whether it's an amplifier or a computer or whatever, sound systems and so forth. And there's something, and I've talked to other people that have the same symptoms that happen, which what happens to me more frequently, uh, that something will go wrong around electronics and it, it just does frequently not just mm -hmm. there and i remember uh i'll give an example one time in church and we have a full band in church and we play live and as i'm playing my guitar totally blanked out of the system it would not it was just totally gone and um, of course during the service the uh, technicians and sound people they are trying to figure out what's going on. And I kind of knew what was going on. It's like, I just fake like I'm playing, just, just kept on going. Anyhow, hopefully something, but never came back until the second service. Hmm. I attributed my aura was kicking in. I was doing, uh, here's another example. I was doing an online training through uh, where I had used to work uh, for a company. And the online training being technically deficient, they take me back to a computer, a computer room where it'd be four or five computers, and you do this 10, 15, 20 minute training uh, online. So the manager took me back and they're trying to bring up the, uh, the system. Well, they could get the system up and then the, but they would get no sound at all. Hmm. So we moved to a second computer, no sound third computer finally we we got to a fourth computer where i could actually get a sound through it and again three computers took four computers before we could get any audio right and uh and at the same time there was another time at that workplace where the amongst many times i'm at a computer and when we bring it up the uh the fonts would be so small you couldn't even read the lettering or phrasings or anything. Wow. And they were just kind of looks like, huh, what's going on here? In my mind, I would never say w what I believe was going right. on, but it would hap happen in the workplace frequently. Uh, and the, as far as the gigs go, uh, we've had some issues with sound systems and, and uh, uh, even uh, Joe Cooney at times will hear stuff that it would drive him crazy, noises and different sounds. And, and he doesn't believe when I tell him that it's a lot of his, I, I really believe is attributed to this, what I call my electronic aura. Right. But we would get a lot of, uh, even now, a lot of weird sounds coming through the system, clicks and thumps and white noise. And I could step away for an hour and they could be gone. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And you know, I totally believe you. Oh, yeah. When I was in Florida, I had a similar issue. Yeah. I mean, the one story about you getting, you know, like training videos or whatever. I had to fill out like an I-9 or something like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, the lady was like, I've never seen this before. I can't yeah. get this. And it was only when I lived in Florida. Yeah. It, it, so many stories, like you just said, that I also went through. And it's funny. My grandmother uh, has that same issue she has under her keyboard. She's a tax lady, so she's doing okay. taxes gotcha. always on a computer. Yeah. She has some weird mat under her keyboard that she like touches before she wow. touches the computer. Is that right? She says it's something to, 
discharges. I don't know. But she says because of that, huh. she has seen a reduction in her computer. Pro- and it's not hooked up to her computer. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. it's just a mat with like stuff in it. You have to text the contact and text me what that is where I can well, get gladly. it. Well, gladly. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe yeah. You carry that to gigs, put it on the floor. Well, yeah. You're always on it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm a prime case for that. Hey, there might be a whole market for that thing. <laughs> it could be. You know, I hope it works. I will. I'll get with her. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll message her on Facebook. She's yeah. knee deep in taxis. Sure. And, and oh, I know it is. Yeah. Send me a, a Got it. picture of that. And yeah, yeah, I'll send you more stuff. I got to send you links to this too. Yeah. That'll be funny. If it works. Yeah. And then you'd be like, look, you believe me now, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, this is real stuff. Most of the people have been around me for a number of years, finally get it, and they understand. And they'll make jokes. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it's just Dan over there. It's no big deal. But they, they <laughs> finally, there's a number of people, believe me, because they see it. They experience it a number of times. Yeah. I'm, I'm on <laughs> oh, board with you. Here's a quick story yeah. just concerning that. Last week, there was uh, uh, my daughter's friend. And her and her son drops something off at our house, and as I'm talking to them, her son is pretty tech savvy. He's on the front porch and he has some type of watch, whatever this watch is. I don't know. They tell everything in the world on it. It just went blank as I'm stepping in front of him. It just went totally, totally stopped. It just went black, and he's trying everything in the world to get it up going. Wow. And then. I didn't say anything. And then uh, apparently when they left and got a little away from our house, it came back on. His watch suddenly just popped back up. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. And- doesn't help my guitar playing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it probably is a hinders because I'm always nervous. Ah, I could be playing and all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, yeah, right. it's out. Oh, that's funny. 